Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video, we are going to look at what exactly happened to the markets today, what we can expect from the markets tomorrow, as well as we are also going to look at what exactly happened to our positions and if we did any adjustments or not. So before moving on, there are a couple of things which I would like to tell you. So previously, you would have heard of this conference called as Quants League. So Sujit was also one of the speakers of Quants League. The conference was more about algo trading and for people who knew coding. So right now, they have come out with another conference for option strategies, options as a hedge. And one more thing is they will also be including how to trade in cryptos in this conference itself. So the registration for that has right now begun and there are some renowned speakers who will be part of this conference. So for more information about this, do check out the link in the description below. And if you register using the referral code below, you will be getting exciting offers also. So don't forget to check that out. And before moving on, if you're liking the content on this channel, do not forget to hit the like button, share this video as well as subscribe to Optionables. Thank you so much for joining. So before moving on in this video, I would also recommend you to change the playback speed to maybe 1.25 or 1.5x as per your convenience because the entire video will be crisp as well as short. So now we will understand what exactly happened to the markets today. So morning the market opened gap up. Yesterday also we had discussed there was an overextension of call writing because the PCR ratio was something like 0.4 and that is extremely low because there are lot of calls compared to puts. So when such things ha usually happen, market is bound to find support at lower levels and people start writing put options therein. Right? So today also we got to see something similar and in yesterday's video I had also mentioned that if the market opens above 17,000 and if we can sustain above 17,000 for some time, we might expect a up move and that is what exactly happened today as well. And today's move was pretty well supported by banks. Actually all the sectoral indices were green but mainly it was led by banking sector alone and Bank Nifty too showed a very strong momentum in the morning, continued till the afternoon. Towards the end, we saw some profit booking or slight down move in both Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. But right now for Bank Nifty, 36,000 has become a very strong support and we will also be looking at the OI data and what exactly is suggest. So yesterday again as we had discussed, we are looking at a range of 35,500 on the downside and 37,000 on the upside. So we should see whether this is going to hold or not. And for the Nifty, again the range of 17,300 on the upside to 16,700 on the downside still remains intact. So if this range is broken, then we can expect further up move or down move accordingly. So now if we also look at the FII and DII figure, we do see that today almost net to net was no change because FII's have sold for around 2,500 and DII's have also bought for around 2,500 crores, but still we saw some really good momentum in the market and it sustained till the end. Right now, even the European indices are trading in green and even SGX Nifty is indicating a positive flattish start. So it is important for us to see how exactly the market moves tomorrow. So I would request you to watch the video till the end as I'm going to tell you how we adjusted our positions based on OI and we were able to end with a profit of close to 4 lakh today. So we'll be knowing about that more towards the end of this video. So right now we'll be discussing about what we can expect from Nifty as well as Bank Nifty tomorrow. So there's a very important thing that we have to note before we move on. So tomorrow the monetary policy is expected. Right now they're expecting RBI to keep the monetary policy unchanged, I mean to say the repo rates unchanged. So if it comes in the favor of what exactly they're expecting, then we might see some huge drop in the premium levels because right now the option premiums are quite high. And if there's any unchanged in the policy rates, then we might see a huge dip in the premium levels. So even on a Tuesday evening, if you see the short straddles are pricing in 
close to 600 points and this is uh, quite huge to be honest and tomorrow given that it's being a Wednesday we can expect some very good theta decay to happen if it comes as per the expectation and if there is no move in the market. So again for bank nifty these two levels hold to be very crucial that is uh, 37,000 on the upside as well as 35,500 on the downside. So if in case there is any profit booking also we can expect a move towards 36,000 but again on the upside this level turns out to be extremely crucial for bank nifty that is 37,000 and 35,500 on the lower side. If bank nifty ends up consolidating around 36,500 after the policy then we will see some very good theta decay happening in most of the out of money options. So now if we look at the OI for bank nifty so again we see some huge unwinding of call option and some huge writing of put options at 36,000 as well as 36,500 actually everywhere at lower levels suggesting that people now find or people now see some support coming in at lower levels. So again this open interest has to be used more dynamically than looking at from day end to day end. So I'm going to also show you how we used uh, OI data to take our adjustment rates for today right. So after this uh, when we look at the overall picture again uh, it looks quite clear that people are now finding support at 36,000 resistance at 37,000 and good amount of short straddles at 36,500. So this again is going to be very crucial for us to see what exactly happens after the policy. So if we see the total number of calls it's to puts again that is pretty well balanced this more or less suggests some kind of consolidation. Now when we come to nifty also we get to see a similar trend a lot of unwinding of call options and some uh, huge writing of put options. So we can see that at 17,000, 17,100 there was huge unwinding of call options. So call options changed by 16 million negative and put options changed by 16 million positive and this was bound to happen because of the overextension of call writing. So whenever there's huge amount of call writing, a small move, people usually run for cover. Whoever has sold options, especially call options, will start running for cover. So anything beyond a particular level, say something like a PCR ratio of 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So these things suggest some kind of overextension. So when we look at the overall uh, point of view from Nifty, again, we get to see a strong put option writing at 17,000 and 17,500 with strong short straddles at 17,200. Even now there are totally more number of calls compared to puts which suggest that um, markets can remain little bearish in the shorter run but we do find some good support coming in at 17,000 which is again a pretty good positive for us. So we might not expect a huge upside but uh, we have support coming in at lower levels as well. So it is crucial for us to see how exactly the market moves after the policy. So again here uh, 16800 holds the key on the downside as well as here 17300 holds the key on the upside. So even today we saw that it was unable to cross 17,300 and it held 16,800 as well. So it is important for us to see how the market will move post the policy, right? So now coming to the trades, what exactly happened to our trades? Yesterday we had lost around 3.2 lakh, uh, but today we recovered around 4.16 lakh. Uh, so the thing is in spite of shorting additional call options and the market going against us uh, we were still able to make around 4.16 lakh. So while we are trading it is also important for us to be little dynamic and try to see what is happening to the market is the psychology or the breadth in the market is changing. So if the breadth was extremely negative is it now it's slowly changing towards a positive note. So it is important for us to track the sentiment in the market and then take the trades accordingly and adjust the position if uh, necessary. So again uh, I'm not telling that I am a perfect trader so I do make a lot of mistakes uh, but it's okay like you can afford to make a lot of mistakes and still end up with good profits uh, as long as you make sure that you have right position sizing as well as risk management. It's only about managing your risk rather than uh, making profits. I have gone wrong many times and I am not a perfect trader but uh, luckily I don't have to 
be always right. So we mainly had 36,500 uh, short straddles and uh, we had shorted some additional 37,000 call options uh, yesterday when the markets fell, right? And today, uh, while the market started moving up, so you can see this is the market movement, while the market started to shoot up, uh, what we exactly did is uh, we tracked the OI of uh, 36,000 puts. And as you can see, there was a huge spike in OI in the initial first one hour itself. So people started writing 36,000 puts very aggressively. And this gave us confidence that, okay, now people are actually expecting some sort of a support to come in at 36,000 because they are writing the puts so aggressively, right? And similarly, there was huge unwinding of 36,000 calls as well. So it was not just 36,000 puts being added, but there was some unwinding of 36,000 calls as well. So next, as you saw that even a lot of short straddles started to get add at 36,500. So you saw that this is 36,500 puts. So there was a huge increase in 36,500 puts, but you can see that the unwinding of 36,500 calls is not that much. That means people, not everybody closed their 36,500 call option position. Rather, there was just some huge addition of 36,500 puts. So that means they were more or less creating sh short straddles at 36,500. So once we saw this happening, uh, so we mainly had 37,000 calls additional shorted and this was more or less coming towards our short straddle, which was a big positive to us. And uh, we had this 37,000 calls shorted, which was giving us a loss. So to take a counter position to this 37,000 uh, calls, we shorted 36,000 puts. So this is the adjusting position which we took. We did get an M2M of close to 4.16 lakh. So what is crucial for us is to see what exactly happens after the monetary policy. So right now I mainly have a short straddle at uh, 36,500 and a short strangle at 37,000 as well as 36,000. So as long as the market is trading between this range, I am okay to hold. So if I see the market breaking any side that is either 36,200 or 36,900, I'll just be squaring off all my positions. So just to show you the positions, uh, this is how the position actually looks like now. Uh, so you can see that uh, right over here, my break events are coming at 35,835 as well as 37,201. So I also expect the market to trade in this range itself, but I might be totally wrong. So tomorrow if I get good profits, I might rather book 50% of my positions and hold the rest of them. So with this, uh, we also come to the end of this video. And if you have liked the content on this channel, then please do hit the thumbs up button, share this video as well as subscribe to Optionables. Thank you so much for joining guys.